Okay, so today I'm going to do a lot of Hoya related stuff. There's just too much to do guys. There's just too much. And I feel like I've been falling behind on my Hoya chores. So let's do that now. We got some Hoya props that I'm gonna repot. I'm looking, there's a lot. And also I'm shiny cause I have this moisturizer healing ointment. And I wanna start off with three Hoyas that I got from Plantiful Minds. I put them in pond in a small cup and it's been a month. So I kind of just want to assess also, they're doing fine, but I think we're at the point where I can repot it. So we have Hoya Australis Alba Marginata, Hoya Ficii, and Hoya Helwigiana. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna add a Crystal Star Nursery trellis. This is the small size into one of these self-watering pots. I got these self-watering pots on Amazon. I still don't know if I recommend it. I still have plants in them and I'll add a link, but I just buy these cause they're cheap. Like that's the only reason why I buy them. Are they the best quality? No, but they do the job. <laughs> This is a weird angle. So if y'all remember in that video, when I put these in pond, I told y'all to make sure that you keep these super wet. Now, not only that, but you have to put them under grow light if you're gonna do that. Just because if you keep it super wet, it doesn't get enough light, then it can't generate energy. The plants won't push out roots and the cutting will just rot. Along with me saying, keep these extra wet, you need to put it under high light conditions. Now, can Hoyas tolerate lower light conditions? Yes, they can. But when it comes to propagations, I think in my opinion, there's no cutting corners. You need to give them a lot of light. I am super excited for this one. The Hell I, do you know what? Never on my radar, but wow. It is such a stunning Hoya. The sun stressing is everything. And when I got it, it wasn't sun stress at all. It was just green. Anyhow, so I'm gonna put a trellis just in this pot over here. I got my pond off to the side and I'm just gonna add just a little bit to the bottom first. Ooh, I forgot to show y'all. There is a new growth point that wasn't there. Is it focusing? I have no idea. Future Kevin's in there. Look at that. That is a brand new growth point. I'm gonna try my best not to break it when I transfer it, but oh well, if it breaks. <laughs> So like I said, it's been a month. You can see the roots just latching onto the pond. So fantastic root system there. On the flip side, I don't want to disturb it just because I don't want to stress it out too much, but that's amazing. So I'm pretty sure light wise, foot candle wise, it was about 2000 to 3000 foot candles. And again, I was keeping the water level really high. I only started not filling it that much in the past week because I saw new roots. And okay, I think that's good. New growth point on this side. I have the small trellis. I'm going to attach a bigger one after, but for now it doesn't need it. So I'm just gonna keep it like this. Because I've just been putting water um, in those cups for the past month, now she finally has roots. I'm gonna add some nutrient solution. So this is a week old nutrient solution and I'm just going to pour it over. It is past maximum, but honestly, it's really hot in here. It'll be just fine. And I'll probably put it back where it was before. Uh, I'm bringing down my material splashes as well. I'm gonna repot them. Now, is there any reason why I'm putting these into pond? You know, I always go back and forth between pond and Lekka. I honestly think those are like the best substrates to grow Hoyas. Just because in nature, like Hoyas grow on trees, they grow on cliffs, and therefore there's a massive amount of aeration around the roots. Lekka and pond, they have those fixed air pockets as well as having the ability to be constantly moist. Okay, moving on, Hoya Fitchi. There is a new growth right over there. Look at that, right there, look how beautiful. On inspection, you can see one root there. There are a couple, I don't know if you can see, but they're right there. We're gonna do the same thing. Trellis, pawn, 
Oh, I'm gonna break the new growth point. I know it. I know it. I can feel it in my bones. Oh my gosh. It's hard because I can't take this. Maybe, maybe I can try cutting the cup. Is this gonna work, y'all? It's just when I pour the pond, it's there's a bunch of rocks slamming into that new growth point. So yeah, look at this amazing root system. It looks so good, y'all. Okay, we're putting it in. Yeah, super excited for this fichi eye just because of the sun stressing aspect of it. She's not sun stressed right now, but it's because I have like a beneficial bug sachet on it. Hey, oh my gosh, she's so cute. So once that new growth grows, once that new growth grows, I'll guide it over here. Same thing, nutrient solution. Like I said, all these were just getting plain tap water. And so now that they have a root system, I feel comfortable giving them nutrient solution. Okay, Miss Alba Marginata. So how often do I give my Hoyas and Pawn nutrient solution? Do I follow a schedule? I roughly do once a month. So for example, I'm doing nutrient solution today. Every watering moving forward, looking at, you know, when these plants dry out and when I need to refill that reservoir, I will just use plain tap water. Okay, oh, I forgot to show the roots. So there are roots right there. There's another one here. This one actually has a really big root system. So look over here beautiful root system. I wish I could show you, you know, the root system more, but I, I really don't want to move the pond. I just don't want to disturb what's already like, you know, established and attached to the pond. I just put it off to the side just so she's close to the trellis here, but ain't she a cutie? Oh my God, my camera's overheating. Uh, okay, I put the plant away. Let's move on to these Mathilde splash props. So same idea as the other ones a month ago-ish. I took single node cuttings from my mother plant and then I was just filling the reservoir all the way to the top just because the stems were so short. And like I said, you gotta keep these super wet. So question mark, should I merge them together? Maybe, let's do that. Okay, I'm actually going to use this bigger pot. Um, I'll put a link below. However, I always have to buy this one from different vendors because the original vendor always sells out. So this could change. <laughs> Same kind of thing, cash pill net-ish pot, I guess. And then the indicator. So, okay, I think with this one, I do want to put it on a trellis eventually. So I think I'm going to add these cake dowels. The reason why I put these cake dowels is so when the vines or tendrils get too long, I can just slot them in the holes instead of pushing them into the substrate or repotting it. Um, so I'm just gonna do this. There are new growth points, actually. I'm, I'm so scared that I'm gonna break one. That's new, I think. There's a brand new one right there. Y'all won't be able to see, but it's there. I have two here attached to each other, but the root system is great. So this is just one and healthy, healthy roots there. This is exciting, y'all. All these root systems are so big. Number three. Look at the splashing on these leaves, so beautiful. Actually, that was four. Number five, right there, look at that. And number six, just here, look at the roots there. So zero casualties from this one. I'm gonna pour the pawn from this. I know there's algae, but honestly, guys, it's fine. I don't clean this out or anything. I just reuse it. Okay, moving on to the second one. Ooh, I'm excited now that I saw that with the first one. Ooh, this one here. I can't even, I can't even see anything, y'all. I hope y'all can see the roots. Ooh, so this is the second one in there and the roots are latching onto the pond. Ooh, these ones are kind of stuck. Okay, there's two. Again, root system is great on both of them. Two more that are stuck together. Fantastic root systems on both of these. Look at that. Yeah, 
Yeah, so I'm just kind of pushing them through. It's kind of hard when they have like short stems, but now that there's a root system, now now the pond can kind of like hug around the roots. Uh, okay, conditions. I'm pretty sure I just used water. And again, I filled it up to, to the top. Since they were very short of water, I would check every two, three days and just top it up with just plain water. And I mean, that's the reason why there's a bunch of algae because she was really wet in the presence of water and a lot of light. Lighting was 2,000 to 3,000 foot candles, which is pretty high. I want to say bright and direct. And I'm hoping all these fit. Sorry if this is boring, guys. But I like to take my time making sure that the pond is all around the plant. Okay, brand new home. Look at these, I am so excited. Um, I know because like, you never know what the new growth is gonna look like. I know this is gonna be more of a mixed pot when it comes to splashy leaves, but I think that looks cute. So, excited for that. So, nutrient solution. I'm just gonna pour right over. Oops. Okay, so we're at the maximum and I'm just gonna put this under a grow light. Okay, so Oya Latifolia Snow Queen. I have her here right under the grow light. So this is the one that I had. I'm gonna have to move this after. Oh, she's so pretty. Four propagations and I'm just rotating it slowly. They've all pushed out new growth. Um, they were tackling each other. So this leaf was here first and then this leaf came out. So it was like pushing. You can see that there's a lot of overcrowdedness over here, which is kind of a shame, but that's okay. So for this one, because I knew I needed to put a trellis, I put the cake dowel so you can see one over there. Yeah, I think it's time just because I see this popping up to put a trellis. I'm just gonna put a short one right now. Probably add a taller one when she gets taller, but let's do that. So because those dowels are there already, I'm gonna carefully just put them in the holes. So I don't know, we all can see Fuji Kevin's advance. There's one over there. I'm just gonna put it in there. Okay, so that's one. Second one. So I'm just at the center here. I'm just gonna add a zip tie just to secure them. And is there a particular reason why I'm just doing the small one even though, you know, the leaves are so big? I still wanna keep this really close under a grow light just because I notice with big leaf Hoyas, they do need a lot of light in order to push out leaves. So for now, while she's like small, I'm gonna just guide Ooh, I'm like scared now. I'm, just, ooh, I'm gonna like break it. For now, I'm just guiding um, these tendrils that way. And then I'm still gonna keep this relatively close under a grow light. I just don't wanna stunt the growth that happened the last time. Uh, I think it was the Sulawesi that I did that with. Um, so I'm trying not to make the same mistake again. But I'm like so excited for all these splashy leaves. It's gonna be so exciting. Taking a little breather because my back hurts. I'm just gonna open. So this is the taller uh, trellis that I use as well. I'm just thinking, okay, so I'm just thinking because the Latifolia Snow Queen, so the one I just showed you, when she didn't have splashy leaves, I did propagate it. The leaves that didn't have splash, I put them in a cup and now they're getting too tall. And I'm like, should I throw you away? Should I like put you on a trellis? I think I'm gonna put in a trellis and repot it. The only reason why I was debating is because I have a lot of <laughs> large leaf Hoyas and ones that are similar, like I have a Gla Glaber Schlechter, I have the Sulawesi, um, the lot of Holy Snow Queen, I have a Michele. Like there's a lot that kind of looks similar like the circular leaves. And so I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep it. I think for now I'm gonna keep it. How's everyone doing? If y'all have made it to this point, let me know at the moment 
What is your favorite Hoya? I think for me, it's the Matilde Splash. Is the Matilde Splash. I for sure want to put out more Hoya content just because I don't have any videos specifically that are Hoya related. And I think currently now my audience, they don't necessarily like Hoyas. And I know y'all, people who are probably watching this video, are Hoya people. And Hoyas are like more than half of my collection. So I feel like I want it to be more present on my channel. <laughs> Because I do have, at this point, I do have a lot of experience with Hoyas. So why not have specific videos? Sorry, this is taking me forever. I feel like this is going to be mean, but I think I'm just going to put it in this small one. Oh, she is beautiful. Look at this. This is a beautiful Hoya. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know how old this is. I feel like, I think there was a time I ignored it because I was like, whatever. But then she started rooting, she started growing. I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> now, is this too tall? I think it's okay. Should I make it rounder? Oh! <laughs> I don't know. Ah! Oh my god. Dangerous. Okay, maybe I won't do that. I can't see anything because of the algae. <sighs> I don't know why I'm making that noise. Ooh. And okay, who's it? Oh my god. Who's excited? Who's excited? I'm excited. Okay, moving on. So, remember six months ago when I propagated my Hoya Silver Dollar? Now, the intention, like, I wanted to sell these Hoyas initially. Um, there are some that I want to keep now. I do have a Silver Dollar that is in Lekka. The thing is, it's pushed out of tendril. Um, I have it on a trellis now, but I'm just kind of shocked that that one isn't really pushing out leaves, but the ones that I propagated in perlite are pushing out leaves. So kind of want to put them in one pot of pot just to observe how they grow. Plus, I feel like the silver dollar is like in my top five favorite Hoyas, just like ever. I don't know. I just love the foliage. So I think I'm going to just take all the propagations. I think there's a few here. So here's one. Oh, look at this. Uh, this second one, I propagated it from the plant in Lekka like a month ago maybe uh, in Pond. And there's already a root there. I'm actually not sure if this is the one that had a really short stem. So I'm just gonna merge that together. Number three pushed out this and this little cute one there we go okay this one is the one i put on instagram look how purple it is so purple are you kidding it is so purple wow okay <laughs> i usually see them like get kind of pink like this around the edges not like this purple i don't know so that's four so far i don't know i really love this plant i just want a full one i think there's one more in here oh there's two more this one just started pushing out new growth over here. And this one. So, oh my God, there's actually more than I thought. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I need a big pot for this one. Okay, because there's a lot of <laughs> cuttings or propagations. Oh, okay, let's start off with the one that's in pawn. So I'm just gonna pour. Oh, actually I need to put these trellises. I kind of wanted to try something because I feel like sometimes these trellises are so steep. You should put a shorter one, zip tie it like, let's do it, why not? I'll show you later what I'm doing. I'm just gonna zip tie these together. Okay, so let's take a look. Oh, okay, it's not one of the short ones. So here are the roots. Beautiful, so same idea. This one actually is getting a lot less light. I wanna say 800 to 1,000 foot candles. And it's just because I had no room anywhere else that was like really close to the grow light. So when I posted my picture of the silver dollar, the purple one on Instagram, I got a lot of comments or DMs saying that theirs is like incredibly slow or they haven't pushed out another leaf. And honestly, mine is so slow too. Like this is six months worth of growth and it's not a lot. 
lot. It's like maybe one, maybe two leaves. And like I said, the one in Lekka, like it's pushed out a, a tendril and it's not pushing out leaves. I'm hoping now that she's against the window and also undergrow light that she like does, you know, her thing. I asked a few people at the Botanical Expo and they said that actually I got mixed opinions about the silver dollar. Okay, future Kim and zoom in. Look at these roots. I hope it's in focus, but it is a large root system. Uh, I'm not worried about taking off all the perlite, so I'm just gonna plop it in the pot here. Yeah, they all have great root systems. Like, again, future Kevin Zoom in. So they all kind of look like this. And I kind of think though that, just, that the silver dollar, it just needs to really grow that root system before it pushes out any growth. There are some Hoyas that they'll push out like a few leaves, I mean a few roots, and then they'll just feel okay pushing out, you know, foliage. This one, and like, it's kind of evident here, the root system has like latched onto the perlite and also the cup, and she's pushed out a few leaves. Maybe that's why. I'm trying to think of the one in Lekka. I don't think the roots have gone into the reservoir for, for the one in Lekka. Maybe that's what it is. We should come and zoom in again. <laughs> I'm gonna feel so bad if they're not in focus. Wow, this one's like really, <laughs> like it didn't even separate <laughs> from the perlite. <laughs> Okay, I feel like this is gonna be the last thing in this video. It is nice today. It's I'm filming this. Oh, y'all can't even see me. It's a Sunday today and it's really like sunny and warm and I want to go on my balcony and I want to like enjoy the sun while it's out. It's 3 p.m. right now. 2.30. Okay, so there's still time. Okay, so this is what I did with the small trellis here. I just zip tied and bent it in a way because sometimes I feel when the trellis is too tall, sometimes it doesn't push out leaves until it gets to the top. So I just want to offer some support for the tendril to push out leaves here. I don't know, we'll see if it happens. But look at all these. And there's still one more, the one that was in pawn. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, there's so much dropping. I'm just gonna pull up this in and I'm just gonna see how this goes. Who's excited for this? I am so excited. I've always wanted a full silver dollar. I know just from experience with my one in Lekka, like it does need a lot of support, like from the beginning, lots of light. And so I'm interested to see how this will do in pawn. Hey, look at this, y'all. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm just adding some nutrient solution. Okay, so just over there. Okay guys, I guess that's it. I'm kind of playing around with video length. I kind of want to do longer videos on like the Mondays and Fridays if I'm uploading around that time. But the Wednesday ones, I'm trying to like see how shorter videos do. I don't know, like do y'all like these videos? Should I do this like every Wednesday? Like a wax plant Wednesday? Not sure, kind of situation with Hoyas, I don't know. I am so excited for all these Hoyas. The next video on Friday will be a favorites video and there are some good ones. So there's some Hoyas on there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the very end, thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.